Hey guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica Christine. If you are new here, and if you are new here, be sure to hit that big red button down below and subscribe. We are at 265 subscribers, almost at 270, and really close to 300. That means the absolute world to me. You will never have an idea, but thank you so much for making that happen. And please subscribe if you're not already to help make that happen. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. New Days video is one that I feel like you guys will love. Hopefully, it is one that my videos, people are drawn to the most because this is such a big thing in the gymnastics world, which are splits. Today I'm going to be telling you and having a deep conversation with you on how to actually get your splits. Now, this is not going to be showing you like any examples or anything. This is just going to be me explaining how to get that. If you've seen my videos on how to get it in one day, how to do this, how to do that, stretches, all that. I'm showing you, but now I'm going to talk to you about how you mentally can prepare yourself and mentally get those splits because it's not just about your physical flexibility, strengths, it's about your mind too. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started about talking about the beginning of your splits before you're down to the ground. So, the first thing you want to prepare yourself to do is kind of how you start anyways. So, you basically kind of just start in a low lunge and then you kind of go back and forth from a low lunge to a half split. And if you don't know those are, go watch my previous videos on splits. You will see those in there most likely um, and you can learn what those are. Um, so transfer from those to those and then you eventually take that front leg and push it down to the ground, bringing your hips down to the floor. and pushing on your arms down. So that is the physical way to do it. What, you, what you're telling yourself in your mind is that you need to keep going. Now, if you are in a lot of pain and you can't keep going, then stop because you don't want to hurt yourself. You don't want to pull a hamstring or pull muscle or anything like that trying to do your splits. Um, if you can't get it in one day, just take the time. Try to have the best patience you possibly can, but try your best to push as far down as you can. Now, if you can't, then stop. If you can try to go as far as you can, then that's good. You want to try, you want to try to work yourself as much as possible, but you, or as much as you can. You don't want to try to work yourself to, like over what you can do. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Now, I want to talk about something that's really big when it comes to having your splits and being able to do your splits is flexibility. Obviously, um, a lot of people think that you have to be completely flexible to have your splits. I am flexible and I do have my splits, but that is not why I have my splits. I have my splits because I practice doing stretches and I practice that position in the splits. If you think about it, the splits is not just a skill, it is a type of position on the ground. And if you think of it that way, think of it as a stretch. Think of it as one of those stretches that's super hard, that you can't do, that you want to work your way up to doing. Think of it like that if you can't think of it as a split in a different skill. That's one way that I thought of it when I didn't have all my flexibilities. You know, I started gymnastics a really long time ago. And I learned, before I went into gymnastics, I learned a lot of stuff at home. I already knew how to do a back walk over. I already knew how to do stuff on the beam, full turns, pivot turns, handstands, cartwheels, you know, back bend kickovers. I already knew how to, the only things I didn't really know how to do were back tucks, back handsprings. But I was really good at learning my skills before I begin with gymnastics, which you do not have to do. The reason I'm bringing that up is because one thing that I practiced before I went into gymnastics is flexibility, not really flexibility. I, that probably makes no sense. I didn't practice flexibility. I practiced my splits. I didn't know much about flexibility. I couldn't, you know, pull my leg up to my face and say I'm flexible. The only thing I could do was my splits. Just because I could do my splits does not mean I was flexible in any other aspect. I could just do my splits. So what I did was I thought of it as a different type of... I thought of it as a stretch. I thought of it as something that I could do to help get my other skills and flexibility. Think of flexibility as a skill i guess and think of a split as stretching that way you can take other stretches that are big and work your way up to that split and then you'll have a split which is considered a skill but you can think of it in the meantime as a stretch and you're just working your way up to it but when i got my splits i was not flexible in any other aspect i could not do anything else see when i got my splits i'm really short right now so i'll try my best to do this but when i got my splits i could not do this no not happening this I cannot do and I would never be able to do it back then I just thought of splits and flexibility as two different things and I learned them both at different times I focused more on my flexibility when I got into gymnastics and I already have my splits when I went in so that's a perfect example of how you don't have to be flexible to have your splits try not to think of flexibility as something like oh I don't have flexibility so I can't learn my splits because that's not true at all you can totally learn them whether you're flexible like 10,000% whether you're not 10,000% it just becomes down to those splits not comes down to anything else 
of any other aspect. So guys, that is how to mentally prepare your mind for those splits and actually how to get them. I know that you can do this because once you know what to do physically and mentally, you can definitely do it 100%. Subscribe down below if you're new. Help us hit that goal of 300 subscribers and gives you a thumbs up if you enjoyed, so I know you did. Comment below any video recommendations you have for me if the comments are open. I'm so sorry if they're not. They always close for some reason. I don't know why. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.